Hi, welcome back. This is Dr. Reveles, and today I want to show you how to do a BBA form. The problem I have here is uh, make a interest rate calculator. We are having a problem. When you deposit your or borrow money, you are paid or pay interest according to the following equation. I have here the equation where P is the initial investment, R is the interest rate, N is the rate of the compounding per unit time, that will be how many times per year, and T is the corresponding unit time. So we can use this equation to calculate what will be your um, amount appreciated A. Problem is create a user form that allows the user to input the initial principal interest rate, compound rate in time, and calculate and display the total amount appreciate, appreciated. So I'm giving here an example of how the form will look. I'm providing this file in the description. You can download this file in the description. Okay, let's start. So we can go to developer, Visual Basic, and I have here a window of Visual Basic for this project, which is here, right? So this is my window for, uh, Right now it's, uh, it's empty, it only has this workbook. So I'm going to insert a user form. Now it's my user form. It's, uh, it's already here, it has a, a predefined dimension. I can uh, increase the size. And I'm going to name this form interest calculator. because that's the name of the form. Then I can add here in the caption, interest calculator. Okay, so we have this interest calculator. And remember, the, our goal is to make a form like the one I'm providing here in this picture. So I'm going to start adding elements to my form. And to do that, I can use my toolbox, right? toolbox. So I'm going to insert a text box and then I'm going to copy here the text from my Excel. I'm going to copy this, copy into this box. And I can resize this text box to have all what I needed here. And you can change the font if you want, but for now, let's just keep it simple. Okay, now we are going to add text boxes so they user can enter the variables. So I'm going to add another text box here. And I'm going to call that initial investment in dollars. And that's my, it's just a text box. But then uh, I'm going to add here a box where the user will enter the actual amount. Okay. So this is the one I'm going to uh, user enter the actual amount. And I'm going to call this initial investment one. We need to know the name of the boxes. Okay, initial investment one. Then I'm going to, because I have this, what is easy just to copy, make copies of this. And then I have my next, which will be interest rate. rate as a percentage, okay, interest rate. I'm going to copy this text box, copy and paste. I have now two text boxes and I'm going to name this interest rate one. We keep going, copy again the text and then add another one which will be compound rate copy and paste this text box and that text box is compound rate compound rate could be any any name but I think it's, it's most convenient given the name of the variable that will hold almost there one more for time copy and paste text time, years. 
and copy and paste this text box. I'm going to call this time one. Okay, now I have here. Now, a very good practice when you are coding is uh, to test. Test what you have done so far is working. So I'm going to save it and I'm going to run here my form. Okay, you see the form is there. This is what we just did. We can enter numbers here. And that's okay. That's all we, we have done so far. Let me close it and then we'll come back here. Okay, the form is there. We can enter the amounts, but we haven't done any calculation yet. For that, we are going to add now a common button, which I'm going to call this calculate, calculate button. Calculate button one and caption, I'm going to say calculate. When I click here, it will do the calculation. We'll come that in a moment. And then I'm going to add the result in here, the amount appreciated Created in dollars here, and I'm going to copy this text box, copy, paste, and this text box will be called count one. You see, I'm, I'm being consistent with the naming. Is amount appreciated one, this, this text box is time, compound rate, interest rate, initial investment. I think maybe just we have here time starting with capital T and amount appreciated here. Okay. So I added the uh, common volume in another one and I'm to add two other common volumes. Okay, this common volume will be Clear bottom with caption clear. We want to clear the form. I want to copy this actually, copy and paste. And another bottom to close the form. I'm going to call this cancel bottom. Cancel bottom. And the caption is going to be cancel. Okay, good. So you see so far what we have done is added the elements to the form, but we have any, we have not add any code. That's what we are going to do next. Again, I'm going to save it and just check that it works so far. Click, it's my form. I can enter numbers here. Click calculate. Okay, that will be the result, it's clear. Okay, it doesn't do anything because we haven't added the code, but it's working, right? So far so good. Okay, now is when we add the code. Let's start adding the code for the clear button. So right click, view code. And I have this window with view code. So what we want for the this button is to clear the form. So I'm going to say initial investment value one, remember? value equals nothing, right? So, so what I'm doing with this clear bottom is going to clear, once I enter the numbers, I click here and we'll clear it again. We call, keep going, interest rate one value. You see how the form recognizes because we define already the forms, the, uh, the value, the text boxes. Count rate one. Okay, I'm doing a misspelling. Compound rate one. It recognizes. Be careful with not having typos. Time one value equals pound appreciated one. Value. Okay, this is my code so far, right? So I'm going to save it. Go back to the form and let's run the, the code now. So let's run, click run. I 
and enter numbers here. For now, we are just testing. Calculate, again, it doesn't do anything, but what it will do, because we added the code, when I click clear, it will clear the form, right? We have already that one. Okay, let's go close it, go back here. Now let's add the code for the cancel. Right click, view code, and you see all your code is really in the same file. Load me, and load me is cancel, close the form. Okay, save it. And I'm going to go to my form, I'm going to run it. Okay, okay. enter numbers here, just for testing. Calculate does nothing, but clear, clears, and cancel is the code we just added, close the form. Okay, so we're pretty much ready to do the final step, which is adding the code to calculate. Right click, view code, and here is where we're going to calculate. But first, we need to read the information from the form. And we remember we say the initial embedment, we call that P in my equation, P equals initial estimate one value. So I'm, I'm reading the uh, data from the form from what the user entered. The interest rate, the interest rate will be R is interest rate value. And because the user is entering the rate as a percentage, I'm going to add an instruction here that R over 100. Let's keep going. A compound rate is N equals compound rate one value. And time T equals time value. Okay, see what I did here is read the information that the user entered, assign it to the variables, and now we're ready to do the calculation. The calculation according to the formula, which we have here the formula. This is the formula. I'm going to enter here. A equals P times one plus R over N to the power N times T. And that's the formula, right? So we enter the formula here for the calculation here. This is the formula. Okay, where I go? Um, okay, bear with me. I am on, yeah, I'm here. Okay, I'm here. Uh, view code. Okay, we're here, right? So we did the calculation. What's what uh, is missing? Well, let's output the result into the form. So that the, my uh, last text box would be amount appreciated one value equals A. And that's all the code. That's, that's really uh, a little bit of code, but it's very uh, interesting all we can do programming. So in this, when I click calculate, it will read the variables. It will do the calculation and will output into the form. Okay, let's save it and let's test the form. Okay, that's my form here. Uh, I give you some examples here. Let's try here. Uh, $200 interest rate. This is a 3% interest rate. Uh, compound 51 times per week, uh, per year, three, and calculate. And that's the result. That's the answer. I can clear and do the next one. 400, 5% interest rate, twice, uh, 12 times per year, that's monthly. For five years, calculate and clear, and I can cancel that. So my form is working well. So the last thing I want to do, instead of having to go here into developer, Visual Basic, find my form, and run it from here, I want to add a button here that calls my form. Go to developer, design mode, insert a button. And I'm going to insert a button here for now, just say cancel. As you see, interest calculator. I just added here the bottom. And I'm going to click developer view code. 
And the view code, I'm going to call that when I click here, it calls the form interest calculator show. Interest calculator show. And remember my form, I was given that name. I want to save it now. So if I go to my form, the form is given that name. That's how I can call now. Okay, close it, let's save it. And now I can click here and open the form. That's my form. And I can, again, keep doing calculations here. Uh, interest rate 1%, compound maybe 24 times per year, for 11 year, calculate and click. Now, there are something else you can do, for instance, green formats, uh, changing the fonts, changing the colors, but I want you to do this video for now. Uh, we can make more videos later, uh, being more specifics. But uh, this is just to make a simple form for interest calculator. Okay, thank you for watching, and then let me know your comments.